A husband and wife fighting, mad over money and cleaning the kitty litter box. What happens next inside this Holly house is unimaginable. I still can't believe I did it myself. Tonight and only on Local 4, we share the confession tape, a Holly man dealing with a detailing how he set his wife on fire after an argument. Bring in defender Karen Drew here now. Uh, his explanation, oh. pretty outrageous, I guess, huh? Devin and Kim, this is outrageous. We all know in marriages we fight. Sometimes we fight over silly things, but this story is unbelievable. Tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from the man himself who set his wife on fire after fighting over money and who would clean the kitty litter. I am so sick of her not taking care of the cat that we have. A confession from 55-year-old David Garnett about what happened inside his Holly home on Grange Hall Road this past winter. A fight over money and who would clean the kitty litter box. She'll leave it and go to work because all she thinks about is lost her, going to work. She had told him, you're not my father. You don't talk to me like that. At that point, Garnett admitted he had enough. And I went out in the shed, got a can of gas, and started squirting a little bit on the hallway. Not enough to do any damage. Okay. Just thought I was scared. That's right. The husband of 12 years started pouring gasoline in his home and on his wife for revenge. She was against the back wall. She was against the back wall, no. trying to get away from you? No, think, just... No. She was confused, didn't know whether to call the police or the fire department, and um, he lit her on fire. He poured gas on her, on her clothing, lit her on fire. Garnett says at that point he realized what he had done. I turned on the cold water in the bathroom right around the door okay. and just kept throwing 24 ounce glasses of water wherever I saw fire. Okay. Put it out. She had no um, egress. She had to go out through her bedroom window, thus on fire. She rolled around in the snow. She did the stop, drop, and roll, went to her neighbor's house, and uh, eventually they called 911. People versus David Garnett. Recently, Garnett appeared handcuffed in his walker inside an Oakland County courtroom. The defenders were there. I still can't believe I did it myself. I, I don't know anything else to say. Do you have anything else to say? like? I'm sorry. Oh, yes, most definitely. I, I, I'm, I will n not be able to make it up to her at all. There's no way. I did. It was. Uh, things got out of hand. David Garnett was sentenced to 135 months to 50 years in prison for one count of assault with intent to murder and one count of arson in that incident. Oh my goodness. Do we know how the wife is doing? Well, she's not doing well. She suffered yeah. severe burns and to her lower extremities, and she did not attend her husband's sentencing because mm. she has checked herself into a mental facility mm. to deal with this after the assault. Wow. Yeah. yeah. All right, Karen.